Wave to, hello to everybody at home. Hi guys. Hello. So we're gonna just start with standing. Let's turn these bodies on. Take your feet and push them down through the floor. Take the crown of your head and lift it tall through the ceiling. Inner thighs are tight. So you're squeezing tight here, narrowing the pelvis. Frankenstein bolts and says on the sides of the neck. Pop them off and stick them on the sides of your glutes. Bolt your glutes together so that's pulling this pelvis narrow. Pull torso as if you're walking into a cool lake of water and you're lifting up. I'll change the music here in a second. That cold water, lengthening. Back X is on, so that's scapula down to opposite hip pocket and scapula down to opposite hip pocket. This opens up your attitude, keeping the chest open. You can breathe here. From here, rib to hip and rib to hip. That's your front X. So I'll say front X, back X on. Squeeze your front, your abs, your back. Squeeze your spine. And release. Squeeze your spine. And release. And squeeze your spine. And release. Good. Remember to put one cheek in the well. Right hand comes across to lay down on the machines. Nina, any requests today? Okay. We're going to go toes on the bar, toes apart, heels together. And toes right on the bar. These toes right here and stick them on the bar. There you go. Toes apart, heels together. And these are your windows. So the shape between your feet is your windows. Make sure they're even that you don't have one foot up and the other foot out. Tighten your spine. Back X, front X. Press the arms into the carriage. Inhale, take it up. And exhale down. Good. Eight of these. Smooth and smooth. Feel your abs as you're working. Good. After eight, we're going to always change at the bottom where there's no tension on the machine. Good. Toes go together, so always change at the bottom. Toes together, ankles together, knees together, tight. Inhale, take it up. Use your abs and bring it back in. Smooth and smooth, knees together, tight. How are we doing, Lassie? Good. After eight, we're always going to change the bottom. Heels go on. So heels are on the bar, ankles together. And when the heels are on the bar, this is going to come from your glutes. So smile with your glutes right now. So what I mean by that is if you're just letting your glutes hang out, they're flat line. But you want to smile them right off the mat. And take it up. That might take you a couple days to think about. <laughs> Inhale, take it up. Good. Smiling glutes. So make it come from your glutes instead of your quads. After eight, bring it down. We're going to change at the bottom. Toes 
Toes go on the bar. Heels are up high, tippy toes. Ankles together. So heels are all the way up, standing on your tippy toes. Just bring the heels up this way. Good, knees together as much as you can. Inhale, take it up to a straight leg. Now see, where's it hurting? See? Where's it hurting? Oh, it's not. It's just me. This is just you, natural. <laughs> knees time. All the way to straight legs. Perfect. Lift those heels as you come down. Nice. So every time you're down low, your heels are high. As you go out, the heels follow you. Now take it all the way up and hold straight leg. Okay, you're going to squeeze your glutes. So squeeze your glutes and open up your hips. So you kind of feel your hips are open. Tighten your inner thighs as much as you can. Keep your legs straight and drop your heels under the bar for six and press up. Five and press up. Four and up. Three, inhale up. Two, inhale up. And one, up, hold. Bend the knees, bring it in. Heels are high. Tippy toes, bend the knees and bring the carriage all the way in. Good, heels come up high. Perfect, ankles together. And take it back up. Good. Drop your heels under the bar. And press up. Five. And four. This is called a ladder. Three. Two. And one. Bend the knees. Bring it in. Heels are high. So we did six. We just did five. Our next rung is four. Take it back up. Good. Drop the heels down for four. And up. Three and up, two and up, one and up, bend the knees, good. Lift the heels as you take it down and take it back up. Legs are straight and drop for three and up, two and up, one up, bend the knees, bring it in, heels are high, tippy toes, take it right back up. Good, drop for two, squeeze the glutes. One, good, bend the knees, bring it in, smiling glutes, smiling face. And take it up and drop the heels for one. Go up and hold, straight legs. Now you're gonna bend your right knee and push your left heel under the bar. This is called running. Right knee and push your left heel under the bar. Good, go up as high as you can, tippy toes, and switch and switch. Way up, way down. And as you're doing this, stabilize your hips. Perfect. Four more. Good. Bend the knees and bring it down. And we're going to go heels wide. So heels all the way out onto the edge of the bars. Anytime your heels are on the bar, it comes from your glutes. Inhale, take it up. <laughs> and exhale, bring it back in using your abs. Inhale, take it up. Abs. And exhale, bring it back down. Good, equal knees. This is also as you're flowing like this, working the lymphatic system in your body. After eight, you're gonna stay wide, but go toes on. So staying wide, toes on. Then take your heels and bring them towards each other. So they're not sliding down the bar, but they're just tilted towards each other. So toes are on, heels are up high, tippy toes. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, lift the heels. And abs, press up. 
and lift the heels. And see how this is rolling out here? I want this here and put more pressure as much as you can on this, this metatarsal. Lift the heels as you come down. Yeah. Phew. More pressure here. There you go. That way the ankles don't sickle out. You want the ankles to come up in that center line of the foot. Good. Lift the heels just so I can see it. Come down. Lift the heels. Lift, 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 lift. Even stand on your tippy toes. So go. And now your feet are like, what? There. That's a... Like women can't jump, both feet. Men can. Men have a hard time lifting their heels up. Women jump like this. Do you jump like that into the pool? <laughs> Usually guys just jump. <laughs> heels go shoulder width apart, knees together. So heels are in the bar, shoulder width apart. Generally speaking, women jump one and then the other. Knees together tight. That's why at the end I make you jump. Inhale, take it up. At the very top, your knees may come apart. Then squeeze knees back together and come back down. So knees together on the way down. This pressure on your knees opens up the sacroiliac. So you can feel that sacrum and how the hips come together peeling open. If you've ever had sciatica, nerve pain, you know this area well. This is anti-nerve pain. This opens you up. Eight of these are eight-ish. It's fine. After eight, slide the feet together, arches on the bar, ankles together. It's called bird on a wire. Press the legs all the way straight. Bend your knees just three inches and push your heels way underneath the bar like you're reaching them. Good. Keep them there and bend down into it. So bend your knees and try to keep your heels there. And it's a really awkward stretch. So bend and come as low as you can and then press back up to straight. Eight of these. Bend as low as you can. That's that tight Achilles. Yeah. That's what mine do. I'm walking on my toes. Brian, you feel that stretch in your Achilles tendon and calves? It's <laughs> just my right here. So feel and you feel through here a little bit too? Okay. Good. Nita, you're feeling it, right? This also releases the fascia of the feet. You'll feel like your feet start to open up a little bit more. The more open and flexible and strong our feet, the better our balance. Good. When you're done with eight, you're going to take your right hand to the shoulder rest on your left side and press yourself up. We'll come up in the sitting. So right hand goes over. Yeah. And then legs come. Good. Okay. The hundred is about breath. It, it becomes like you start owning the machine. You even start using straps to pull yourself up and stuff, like gracefully and step off like it was nothing. But that takes a little time. Um, breath. So we're going into the hundred. It's about filling the lungs. Five breaths. And your diaphragm muscle is going at first because it's not used to this, so it's rhythmic. It's 
So that's the breath. The tapping of the arms here is for your mid back. So you have lats here, rhomboids, traps. So what I'm doing is I'm tapping. So even though there's nothing on my arms, I'm making it tight, 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 tight. Okay, so we're gonna do a first couple and then we're gonna make it harder. So two reds, one blue. So you're gonna take the other red and blue, green off. Two reds, one blue, stay on. And then the red and the green come off. A red, a red and a green. Just go here. So, uh, two reds, one blue. We're gonna lay back down on the machine using our right hand, but our shoulders are gonna be an inch and a half away from the shoulder rest because I want the shoulders here, never here. Always there. So laying back down on the machine. Scoot an inch and a half away from the shoulder rest. Okay. Lift your legs in the true tabletop. So true tabletop means now the lower back is down because you have all this weight of your legs on your lower back. Good. Take your nose and try to reach your nose to your navel. Then lift your head up. Good. And tap your arms. Inhale for five. Good, and relax. Okay, the trick to your neck is to get your hinge to work. So underneath your pecs or your breast are, is your hinge right here. And what I'm doing is I'm dropping this hinge into my body here, deep, 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 deep. That way my neck is free. So you're gonna grab your small straps. To find your small straps, make jazz hands. Slide them down and find your straps. Bring the hands down next to your sides when you're ready. Good. And I want you to slide the shoulders down into your back and lift your legs up. Good. And thumbs go on one side. Perfect. Okay, hands reaching. Head is up. Legs in tabletop. Good. And tap the arms. So it's right here, just tapping water. Inhale for five. And exhale. Two. And in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, sixty, in, two, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, seventy, in, two, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, eighty, in, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, ninety, in, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, and hold the hundred. Good. And then release your head down. And bring your feet both back down to the bar. So we're putting the breath together with our abs. Feet go into long straps. You're going to push off with one foot and one foot goes up into the strap. Be ready. The machine wants to take you for a sudden ride and you want to keep that core on. Then both. But be ready because we need that foot off as soon as you want to spin to that left. Now the fun begins. So the tailbone is down, legs go straight up, stretch the hamstrings. So the hamstrings are right in the back of the tops of the legs here. Straighten the legs as much as you can, even a deeper stretch, and push your tailbone down through the mat. Small gap in the back, draw the feet straight down for eight, and you're going to go down just a little lower in the 45, and then come back up. Use your abs as you come up. Use your abs and breath as you go down. Inhale up, and exhale down two. Going to eight, hands reaching, good. Shoulders open, attitude. Smiling glutes, smiling face. This should feel good. Was that eight? What number, Nita? Eight. All right, okay. We're gonna do circles. The purpose of circles is to move both legs evenly around. We have one leg stronger than the other. We don't want our hips to rock. So inhale, take the legs up towards the ceiling. Exhale, down and around and into home, just slightly lower than a 45 degree angle. Inhale up 
Exhale out and around. Watch those hips, make them solid. More pelvic floor, Frankenstein bolts, lower abs are on. Smooth and smooth. Good, after five, we're gonna reverse the direction of our circle and we're gonna go in medial rotation. So hold down, good. So hold there in the home for just a second. And I want you to roll up and peek at your feet. And what you wanna notice is, are my feet equal? Do they have the same window? Or is one like, you know, one's up and one's over? Make it equal. Now, this is a lateral rotation of the femur bone inside the hip. We're gonna go medial, which comes from that femur bone. You're gonna turn them in. Good. Peek at your window, is it equal? There. And go out to the side, end up, together and draw down. Five of these. Abs are working like crazy. Scapula is down the back. <laughs> Good. And after five, bring it down in the home and hold. Okay, we're going to do a really awkward move. I'll never make you do it in public, but I'm going to have you bend your knees. Good, and you're gonna to try to keep your windows equal and press back out. So knees bend together towards each other. So we're still that medial rotation. I know it's- Is it a frog? No, it's a knees in. Out. It is, no, so it's Bambi on ice. Bambi on ice. Let's look at Nita. See our knees are together? Bend in with knees together. Okay. So oh. bend in, yeah, and press out. Yeah, there you go. This is so good for your sacrum, your sacroiliac, and how it comes together. It's just peeling you open again. Plus, you've got to stabilize in this position and watch your windows. Good. And your knees are together. Knees are together. We get so clenchy in our hips. This is a good one. Eight all together. How come I'm the only one breathing so hard? <laughs> Brian's not breathing. Brian, are you breathing? You're just breathing quietly. Just taking it in. I'm trying to put it all together. <laughs> Inhale as you bend in. Okay. So now our hands are going to be in the small straps and our feet are going to be in tabletop. A tabletop, because of all the weight of your legs, you're going to press your lower back down. Good. And you're going to reach your hands down. And I want you to turn on that back X. So I want you to pull those ears away from the ceiling, smear them open into the mat, and draw them down and back. Squeeze your inner thighs, bend your elbows, inhale, bend the elbows, and exhale, straighten and reach those fingertips. And just get the elbows real close to the side, bend in, yes, and use those triceps and press. Good. This is a tricep press. Good. Knees together if you can, and then shins parallel to the ceiling. That way your core is holding those up. After eight, we're going to go straight up to the ceiling, but shoulders stay into the body, and then draw down. <laughs> a little bit lighter for you? Do you want me to go lighter? I'll try it. Okay. What number, Brian? What goes up to the ceiling? Your arms straight up. There you go. Now, don't pull with your hands, pull with your lats. You're going to use your lats to come down. 
pull. Good, and chest open, attitude. Inhale, exhale, draw it down. So you make your breath as smooth as you can. Good, and all the way down, touch the mat, touch the mat, touch the mat. Shoulders open, yes, and see that? Do you feel you peel, open your attitude, and then back up? Five to eight of these. Then we'll go out to a 45 degree angle, V is for victory. So go V, good. Flex your armpits, legs and tabletop, draw down, exhale all your air, and inhale back to that V. So Anita, instead of going straight out to the side, go up to that V. There you go, five of these. Now don't pull with the hands, pull with the lats. Lats are pulling. We don't want to turn those backs on. And touch your hips. So come all the way down and touch, there you go, touch the hips. Isn't this fun, Lassie? Oh, yeah. This is so much different than just the mat. Yeah, it is. Mat's fun too. I've got mat classes. Straight out to the side. No. I don't want you to just keep doing the same. Mat classes are Tuesdays and Fridays. Tuesdays at 11, Friday at 12. Five to eight of these. You feeling it, Brian? No. You feel your back working? No, my inner thighs. Okay, so groin. groin here, so you would cross your ankles. Okay, cross your ankles and let your knees frog out. A little better? Okay, circles up and around. We've got five one direction, five the other direction. Do you want me to take spring off? Yes. Okay. We want to see you again on Wednesday, yeah. so. Armpits are working. Exhale as you go down. Five circles, one direction. Eyes are open and strong. Breath is smooth. Pushing that air out. And then reverse it. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I, I didn't feel it. When you're ready, come up. So you're going to take long straps, put them on the post by your ears. We always put long straps on because the short straps hold the machine back off those bumpers just a smidgen. So long straps on post. Right hand comes over to the left shoulder rest and push yourself up. You need to get that right hand over and. Oh my God, my arms are like jelly and you're telling me to swing my arm. <laughs> yeah, arm over. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to use those arms and legs. We're going to put the box on top. Anytime you pick up your box, your knees are bent. So the box is going to go up against your shoulder wrist. This is called short box. If you ever come in or as you're working out, your back gets cranky, let me move your box for you. And then Cassie, or Lassie, you're going to go this way. Yeah, and then like having a Cassie and a Lassie. And push it right against the shoulder rest. So this is called short box because it's short ways. The other way on the box is called long box because it's long ways. So we're going to go two red springs, take the blue off. And then I'm going to show you on Lassie's machine how to move the gear bars. So the gear bars hook each other. They are married. You never push them away from each other. These two are married, so they're always staying together. And we're going to go out to different lengths. So, Lassie, how tall are you? 5'7". Okay, you're going to be out in third. Nita, are you about 5'5"? Five, five, five? You're going to be right between these two. So let's go, let's try the second one for you. And then Brian, how tall are you? About the same, 5'6". Okay, so we're going to be here, and we're about to the third. You see how the two come together? How that bracket hooks? How does it unhook? Just back down. So you don't want to do this and try to lift this up? This hook here? 
hooks to here. So it hooks in. Just like that. And then back down. But you keep, these two are married. See how you're pushing the carriage away? Yeah. <laughs> Hook the two. Two are together. And they always move together. One instructor told me that they're dating, so they always want to be together. And the other way would be married. But we're going to marry the two. So always bring them together to move them. So this hook here hooks here. See the other hook together? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you screw that. I just noticed it was unscrewed. I just did a little maintenance for them while I'm watching them. There are so many little bolts on these guys. So then after you've moved them a couple times, you'll get kind of a feel for it. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, people try to separate them and then move them, and they go, ding, 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 and it busts up the gear bars. Now you got it. Voila. And I have people who've been coming for years who still can't figure it out. And I have other people who get it the first time. It just depends if you're mechanical this way. They're not the easiest things to move. You're going to be sitting up on the box, so booty's on the box here. And then your feet go underneath the strap. This is called your safety strap. And you'll know why here in a second. Use your monkey toes. And now you're going to wiggle back until your legs are nice and taut in the strap. So wiggle back and then pop your feet up into the air. So keep scooting back. So take your booty and wiggle it back. So you want your sit bones to be way back here. Where are the feet going? Up in the air against the safety. So that's your safety strap. Yeah. See how Cassie's Lassie's feet are up in the air? It's Monday, too. There. OK. So this safety strap is to keep you from flipping over backwards. OK. Because <laughs> we don't want any quick flips. OK. Abs are on. Hands come up. Shoulders are down. Good. Lift kit. Squeeze your glutes. Pull with your legs and pop yourself up. Squeeze the glutes as tall as you can. And then release. Good. Squeeze the glutes and lift up. Perfect. And release down. And up. These are called lift kits. It's kind of a Cindyism. And back down. Lift kit and stay. Think about your glute, keeping your glutes off the box and lean back to a 45 degree angle, keeping your eye gaze forward. Narrow your pelvis. Frankenstein bolts. Hold for five, four, breathing, three, two, one and come up nice and tall. Good. And again, lean back. Hold for five. Breathing four, three, two, one, and come up nice and tall. Good. And again, lift kit and back. Smiling glutes, smiling face. Hold for five. Good. Four more glutes. Three more abs. Two, one, come up nice and tall. Good, and again, lift kit up, lean back. Then take it back, four counts of five. Breathing four, three, shoulders down, two, and one, and come up. Good. Keeping the hands here, you're going to twist to the left. And then you're going to lean to the left, but keep your lower abs on. And think about slightly pulling tail between legs. Then come up and back to the front and twist, and lean, and up, <laughs> can you already feel it? Twist, and lean, hello abs, and up, and back to the front, and twist, and lean, and up, and back to the front, last two, Twist and lean and up and back to the front and twist and lean and up and back to the front. Good. Okay. So that's a twist and lean. Now we're just going to do a twist. Take your feet and unhook them from the strap and place your heels right up on the box next to you. Knees together. 
Good, ankles together. You're gonna reach behind your booty and you're gonna slip any tushy part back behind your sit bones. <laughs> scoop and scoop. Good. Okay. What I want is that you feel your sit bones into the box. Can you guys feel the sit bones? Okay. Sitting up as tall as you can. The sit bones can't move, so you don't want them to do this. And I'll know if they're doing that because your knees will do this. So knees are tight. Good. Hands out. Grow as tall as you can. We're going to pulse to left three times. So twist to left for three. Two, even further, one, and back to the front. Nice, yes, and take it over. Three, and two, growing taller, one, and back to the front, grow tall, and over, and three, two, one, and back to the front, and again, three, and two, and one, and back to the front, good, and release. Good, so we did a spine twist, a spine twist, and leaning. Is it going by slow? Oh my God. What do you guys say? <laughs> I have 12 more minutes. I'm going to tell Larry, I can't ski tomorrow. It's Cindy's fault. <laughs> You'll be able to ski. Just go for a couple, just do the two hours again. What? Just do the couple hours again. Epsom salt. Yeah, Epsom salt <laughs> soak the sore right out, or the springs, or the spa, the healing water soak the sore out. So you need to go soak. Get a massage. It'll be good for tomorrow. Yeah. Bring the gear bar in. So remember the two are married. You're gonna step off towards the front door and bring them in together. I like it from this angle. So I like to grab it from here and just pull forward. Piece of cake. Good. Voila. Now the boxes go under and the reason the gear bar is always in before the box goes under is because these Brackets here take chunks out of the boxes. No. We're going to have our feet against the shoulder rest and we're going to be on our knees with our hands here. It's a game of twister. So, feet against the shoulder rest, hands wide. You have checkbooks underneath your armpits, so your shoulders are down and back. From there, you're going to take your glutes and take them back towards your heels without moving the machine. So keep the carriage in and take your glutes back over your heels, like you're going to sit on your heels. Perfect. From there, don't let your shoulders move. Push both knees. I can't do both because I can't hover yet. Press out and pull back in. And press out and pull back in using your abs. Mm -hmm. And back in, good, 10 of these. Exhale as you come knees forward. Inhale as you press out and try to move using your abs. I didn't ski this weekend. I did, Sunday, it was awesome. It was locals day and nobody was up there. I heard it was nice conditions yesterday, too. It was. We're supposed to get... Shoulders back. Wait, did you say we're supposed to get? Yeah. Snow? Yeah. No uh, way. Bring those knees all the way in underneath you. Knees come in. Good, good, good. Shoulders stay there, both shoulders. shoulders. Yeah, shoulders stay still. And Brian, uh, what you're looking for is compressing the abs. Right here. Compress. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Four inches each day, so that'll help. That will help. Yeah. Four inches up there. Yeah, up there, not down. Actually, it did say down, it said one inch down here, but I'm hoping it'll be more. We should all wash our cars and put our trail maps in the freezer. I have two now in the freezer, two trail maps. Watch those shoulders, keep them still, just the knees are moving in and out. See how those shoulders want to come up? Good, pull here, and then bend in. <laughs> uh, yeah. Here. No, they don't want to do that. Good. We're going to go into stretching. So we're still using our abs. We're going to go straight legs, hands on bar. This is called 
elephant. It looks a lot like the yoga downward dog, which is here. On your feet, toes forward. Good. And then go feet flat on the mat. Go heels all the way down. There you go. You're going to bring the carriage all the way in. So carriage comes in, it taps in, and then you're going to lean back without moving the carriage. Good. And that's going to set you up. So carriage is all the way in. Lean back. Heels down. Toes up. Straighten the legs as much as you can. Then push out, keeping heels down. And come back in. Ten of these. You're looking for a calf and hamstring stretch. Heels down. <laughs> Get those heels down. Only go out as far as you can keep them down. Good, Brian, you've got it. You've got it, Nita. So imagine I put $100 bills underneath those heels and I'm pulling on them. You're going to keep them down. Pin them out. Pin them down. Pin them down. There you go. And then come back in. So now bring it in. Stretch. Good. <laughs> when you're ready, safely bring it down to the floor. We're going to go towards the front door side of our machine. <laughs> as long as it's a machine and not your body making all that racket, right? Okay. I'm so graceful. So I'm going to show you Brian's machine. What we're going to do is you're going to slide your brakes on this bar in. And then we're going to take both bars towards the alleyway. Then we're going to go one red spring, and we're going to stand with our legs about like underneath your armpits. And we're going to push out flat back. And then from there, your thighs stay right against the bar here. We're going to pull tail between the legs, and we're going to roll like a mad cat the spine all the way to the ceiling. And bring it all the way in. And then from there, we're going to start from the tailbone and push back out one vertebrae at a time using the abs and spine together and stretch just like that five times how did you do this brakes slide in towards each other the locks are the brakes good and then the f bring that bar towards you but do this one up there so let me see this there you go okay so now your legs are underneath your armpits. One off. Just one off, yeah. So there's one red. And press out. Oh, this. And round to come back in. Perfect. And open up the spine so you're feeling it. Opening. Good. And you feel the symmetry. Both are working equally. This should feel lovely. My abs quiver on this one. See if you can find your abs. The more we work our abs, the quicker they're on. Nice. Nita, you notice your body's getting straighter? Uh huh. It feels like it. Yeah. And when you're ready, come up in the standing. That should just feel wonderful. 
You can stand on your tippy toes or you can use the box. We're going to do side stretches. Um, if you're a tight in your shoulders, a little tight your shoulders, you're going to face away from the machine. If you tend to arch your back, you're going to face towards the machine. And what we're going to do is you're going to hang and stretch out that whole side body. And you can use the box if you can't reach it. Can you reach it here? Tippy toes. Yeah. Good. And then drop one hand and over to the side. So if you're using the box, you just really have to bend the knees. And you can find your sweet spot. I have to bend my knees. <laughs> there you go. And just hang in that arm. Switch it when you're ready. Perfect. Good. And bring it down. And you did a lift up, some lift ups. Uh -huh. you, you conquered the lift up today, too. Yeah, I figured that out finally. Lace your fingertips. Yeah, I know it's kind of a brain thing to, how do we get that to come up? And shoulders are open. I had an instructor who said, now I want you to do it with no springs. And she took all the springs and just laid it flat, I thought. So I hooked my feet underneath it and it works. You can go, you lay the bar on your feet and you lift up. Oh, jeez. Good, release. Bring as much air as you can into the lungs. So filling the lungs completely with air. Three more puffs in to maximize. And exhale, press all the air out, just cleansing out the lungs. Inhale. Three more puffs. Exhale, push all the air out. Keep pushing, keep pushing, pu pushing all the air out. Good, and release. Shake out your ankles, your knees, your hips. Watch what's around you. You want one small jump, one big jump, and you guys are done. Yeah, both feet. <laughs> I know, try that. Try jumping forward. It's like, what? Okay. Wave goodbye to everybody at home. See you. Bye, guys. So on your machines, you're going to go all springs on, foot bar in middle, long straps on post, and then wipe everything down.